How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb, man, here. And it's finally time to watch some intense hockey. The NHL playoffs are starting tonight, and I cannot wait. The high-energy games where everything is on the line, you know, this is what real hockey is like, and uh, it's going to be a fun night. We're going to watch the Montreal Canadiens versus the Ottawa Senators and be in the chat, and I know it's going to go crazy. It's going to spark some crazy rivalries. A lot of Ottawa Senator fans, a lot of Montreal Canadian fans, right? So it's all going to come to a head tonight, and I know you guys want to hear my predictions, so I'll use this video to go through my predictions, but I want you to know from the start that these predictions are not, you know, coming from a place where I, uh, you know, read a bunch of advanced analytics and I know this team is going to beat that team because of the season series and this player being injured. This is just going to be a quick predictions based on teams that I, I feel are going to go far and teams that I want to see go far, right? So you can agree, you can disagree. At the end of the day, hockey's a crazy sport. We could see uh, a very crazy Final Four where nobody predicts the Final Four teams, right? These are just the teams that I kind of think are going to make it and I kind of want to see make it, all right? So round number one, we'll start with the Anaheim Ducks versus the Winnipeg Jets. And flat out, Anaheim should win this series. But then again, goaltending and defense, you know, they have to be solid. And, you know, if there is going to be an underdog to beat a team that's way ahead of them, it could be the Winnipeg Jets. Just because that building is going to be rocking. You know, I mean, the fans are going to be going crazy. And again, with that momentum, with that high energy, with that intensity, you never know, man. The Winnipeg Jets could pull it off. But I do think that the Anaheim Ducks should win. And I'd, I'd kind of like to see the Anaheim Ducks win. I know I'm Canadian. I'd like to see the Winnipeg Jets go far, right? But this could be Anaheim's year, man. With teams like San Jose and LA not in the playoffs, they have an all-Canadian run to the final. If they get by Winnipeg, then they have to beat Calgary or Vancouver. They can beat those teams, and it's a trip to the Western Conference final so I'm gonna go with the Anaheim Ducks next up the Calgary Flames versus the Vancouver Canucks I really don't have any preference I really don't feel like any team has an advantage um, Vancouver's experience may be the difference in this game because you know they only went to the Stanley Cup final what four years ago and they still have a lot of players from that run right they are starting Eddie Lack in the net but Calgary's had that something special the entire year Everyone's everyone wrote them off at the beginning of the year saying they weren't going to be a playoff team. Then Mark Giordano goes down. Oh, they're done, right? I mean, if Calgary can go far enough into the playoffs, Giordano might be able to come back. So I think this could be a seven-game series, and I'm gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick the Calgary Flames just because I love underdogs. I'm sorry, Vancouver. I think Calgary's more of an underdog than you guys. You guys are an underdog, but I'm gonna go with the Flames. All right, the Calgary Flames. Next, the Minnesota Wild over the St. Louis Blues. Now this one's hard to call because, you know. For me, there's this unwritten rule. Hot teams coming into the playoffs, you have to be worried about. Teams that come into the playoffs not so good looking, you know, they may continue that uh, that streak. So, you know, the Minnesota Wilds, they have been a hot team ever since they got Devin Dubnik, right? So I look at them as one of the top teams in the NHL. And the St. Louis Blues, every year it seems like people look at the Blues and think, oh, they have, a, they have an amazing team. They have depth. They have goal scoring. They have defense. All right. Elliott this year in the net. They had Ryan Miller last year. Didn't work out for them. Elliott in the net this year. I still, I'm going to give the nod to the Minnesota Wild. It wouldn't surprise me if the St. Louis Blues beat them, but until I see St. Louis do something in the playoffs, because they really haven't done anything in the playoffs since, like, I don't even know how long ago, right? Back in, like, Chris Pronger and Al McKinnis days. I'm talking about going to the conference final here, St. Louis. Not a round one win against San Jose or something like that. I forget who you guys beat a few years ago. But I want to see you guys do something in the playoffs. So I'm going to give the, uh, the nod to the Minnesota Wild just based on how they've been playing over the last few months. Next, Nashville versus Chicago. And good news for Chicago, Patrick Kane is coming back. That's going to be a, uh, a, big, uh, a big positive for Chicago. And again... These two teams, I would like to see the Nashville Predators move on just because the dynasty of Chicago, L.A., Boston, Pittsburgh, you know, I'm kind of tired with that. I still like the Chicago Blackhawks. They're a good team, very talented team, a lot of players on that team that I absolutely love to watch, but I'd like to see the Nashville Predators win. I got to give the nod to the Nashville Predators in the net, and if Pekka Rene can outplay Crawford, then you know what, man? Nashville can do it, so I'm not, you know convinced that Nashville is going to beat Chicago, but I'm going to pick Nashville over Chicago for this one. All right, that's my prediction. Now let's move over to the Eastern Conference. The New York Rangers over the Pittsburgh Penguins. I think everyone would go with that one. I mean, the President's Trophy winning team. And what did I say when I was talking about St. Louis and Minnesota, how Minnesota's coming in on fire? Well, Pittsburgh is coming into the playoffs limping, basically. Barely making it into the playoffs, right? I think they beat them in five or six games. I really do. Maybe some changes in the offseason for Pittsburgh. But then again, I could be wrong. 
strong. You never know. Sit the kid, right? Maybe all of a sudden he breaks out in the playoffs. Uh, next, Islanders versus the Washington Capitals. This one, 50-50 in my opinion. It really is. I have no... I have no prediction on who's going to win. I would not feel confident in choosing one team. So, again, this pick just comes from a place where I want to see this team go far. The New York Islanders. I'd like to see the Islanders go far just because they've been a team at the bottom of the NHL for how long now? So, another underdog story. Even though they're not really an underdog team, they've had a good year. Uh, I'd like to see John Tavares do something in the playoffs this year. I would also like to see Alexander Ovechkin do something as well, right? But he's been around a lot longer. I think i just like to see the Islanders. There's some fresh blood in there. So, I'm picking the Islanders. Next, the series that I can't wait to watch, the Ottawa Senators versus the Montreal Canadiens. All right, so I'll just say it up front. A lot of people are not going to like it, but I'm going to pick the Ottawa Senators over the Montreal Canadiens. couple reasons. A couple years ago, Ottawa beat Montreal in the playoffs, all right? That's still there. A lot of players still played in that series, and they're going to be using that as motivation. Hey, guys, we can beat these guys. We've done it before. We can do it again. Another thing, Ottawa is coming into the playoffs on... on it's above fire. It's hotter than fire, all right? Jesus Christ, the record that they've been on. And it goes back to what I said about Minnesota. You come into the playoffs on fire, it doesn't matter about that stupid seed. Because the NHL, any team can beat any team. And Ottawa is as hot as any team in the NHL right now. And you know what? The Montreal Canadiens, they're, they're a good team. They're a fantastic team. I won't even say good team. But... A lot of that comes from Carey Price. And you have fans, I don't think you would disagree with that. Carey Price is your best player. So, if Montreal is going to beat Ottawa, Price has to be better than Hammond. Is Price better than Hammond? Absolutely. But Hammond, it's not just about his skill. It's about how he makes his team feel while he's playing. For some reason... The team, the Ottawa Senators, play like beasts when Hammond is out there on the ice. Alright? There's that extra... X factor that you can't account for in Andrew Hammond. So I know Carey Price is the better goaltender, but he's got to play like it. Because if Ottawa gets the scent of blood, gets the taste of blood that, hey, we can score on Carey Price early in the series, I got to I gotta say, Montreal, you got to watch out. But if Montreal can get like a 2-1 a win in game number one, then maybe a 1-0 or a 2-0 win in game number two, and Carey Price really shows himself to be the goalie that he's been the entire year, then the Montreal Canadiens definitely um, would be the favorite. Favorite. But again, what I said in the earlier part of this uh, predictions video, I'm going with who I feel and who I want. The Ottawa Senators over the Montreal Canadiens. I'm sorry, have fans. I'm picking Ottawa, all right? And last but not least, the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Detroit Red Wings. I'm just going to simply pick uh, Tampa Bay over Detroit. They got a good team. Uh, ben Bishop this year instead of Lindback. Uh, Detroit, you know, another team that kind of faltered coming into the playoffs. They were at a good spot earlier on, and then they were at a spot where, oh my god, are we going to make the playoffs? Boston, Pittsburgh, Detroit, and, uh, and, uh, Ottawa, remember that, right? So, I'm just going to go with the Tampa Bay Lightning. After getting swept last year, I think it's this, uh, it's their year to go to the second round this year. Alright, so there are my, uh, round one predictions. We'll move off to round two. Now these, again, this is just feel because we don't even know the stories just yet, right? Anaheim over Calgary. Sorry, Calgary. I think it's Anaheim's year in that, uh, in the uh, Western Conference. Nashville, I'm going to choose over the Minnesota Wilds just because I'd like to see a year where Nashville goes to the Western Conference Finals. In the East, I'm going to pick the Rangers over the New York Islanders. The Rangers, man, coming off that Stanley Cup loss last year. Well, the LA Kings aren't there this year, all right? And Rick Nash is playing much better than he was last year for the Rangers. So it could be, and their defensive core as well. So i got to pick the Rangers over the Islanders. And then I'm going to go with Ottawa over Tampa Bay. This pick is, again, just a field pick. I'm going to keep on going off of how Ottawa came into the playoffs, all right? If they can continue this style of game that they've come into the playoffs on, I don't think there's a team that can deal with them in an easy fashion. So I'm just going to go with Ottawa over Tampa Bay. Again, it's not an educated guess. It's more of a, a feel and how I want to see the playoffs end up. Round number three, the Western Conference Finals. I'm going to pick the Anaheim Ducks over the Nashville Predators. Again, boys, I feel like Anaheim has the best run to the Conference Finals out of any team this year. They have to go through Winnipeg, Calgary, or Vancouver. You know, uh, two Canadian teams, while a team like Nashville, they got to go through Chicago, and then they're going to have to go through St. Louis or Minnesota. So I just feel like Anaheim is going to be uh, uh, the, I don't want to say easier team or well-rested, just the easier trip to that conference final while the Nashville Predators may be beat up by them, may have a few injuries, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to go with. And then the Eastern Conference you got the New York Rangers versus the Ottawa Senators. I so wanted to pick the Ottawa Senators over the Rangers, but I think by the third round, their momentum will have uh, 
will have run out for sure. And I'm going to pick the New York Rangers to get back to the Stanley Cup Finals back-to-back -back years. Now, I know as a prediction, that's not really going against the grain too much, right? Picking the Anaheim Ducks versus the New York Rangers. But I just, that's the way I feel it. I feel like the Anaheim Ducks, they have a... A golden ticket to the conference finals this year. If they're if they're a for sure team, if they're a for real team, then they can do it this year. They can make some serious noise. San Jose and LA is not in their way this year. All right, and the New York Rangers again. They don't have to go through Boston. They they showed last year they can go through the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. All right, and then the Islanders, the Young Islanders, goaltending their defensive core. I know it's it's not going against the grain, but I do feel like the top teams have the chance to go to the Stanley Cup Finals this year. There may be some up, upsets in the first round or two, but I think by the time it rounds out to the Stanley Cup Finals, you're going to see three out of four teams um, as top-tier teams that you expect to be there. All right? So there you go, boys. There are my predictions. Again, don't go crazy. It doesn't come from an advanced analytics spot. It comes from a feel and what I want to see in the playoffs. And if anybody else is going to watch the Ottawa Senators-Montreal game, come to the chat tonight we're gonna get i want to get 250 people in the chat just see how crazy it goes all right so let's go sends take that habs <laughs>